outside visiting our project and to see the extent and the progress we've gone with this job. Uh, I can uh, I will explain what is the progress we've gone till now. We, we did about three kilometers of asphalt left and right, completed with the walkway, drainage, everything. What is left there is only second layer of asphalt on it. The second 2.7 kilometers, the other part of the road, we did almost 90% of the drainage, 90% of the filling. And we are preparing now for the walkway, small base and asphalt. And we are here to the bridge. What are the major challenges you are having? Actually, uh, before we had some little ch challenges with the public utilities, uh, water lines, electrical poles, uh, compensation, all this. But uh, some uh, few months back, Excellency interfered and all these issues is resolved. No more problem now. The challenges is the job now, that's all. Are you sure you'll be able to complete that? We will pray so. We pray so. We know and that's why we did this uh, filling with sharp sand. So when you fill with sharp sand, you don't have any problem again uh, with the rains. Uh, it will not uh, disturb the movement of the equipment. That's why we did this filling now in the dry season. That we are sure that you know that this is the clear thing. Exactly. Because it's not in the job. Are you assuring the details? The task is in there. This road is very durable. I can be sure exactly. even in the next 10 years. Exactly. The, the, the government and the Minister of War, they did not award this job just to put tar and after one year to come back and do it. They give a very high standard qualification. This job is federal standard. And here is more closely supervised by the ministry to higher standard. Like when we say sharp sand filling, as you are seeing along the Gelli Road, Gelli Port Harcourt Road, they are filling with sharp sand. Stone base, we are putting stone base here. The drainage on both sides, we have it. Everything, two layers of asphalt, we have it. So the quality is perfect. Is the government giving you much encouragement? Of course. Of course. Are you paid as well? At any, every time I have certificate, I'm always paid. There is no delay at all. So it's not the government that delay? No, 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 no. It's you now. That you it's me. I have to finish this job on time. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot uh, put a motor, all the blame on him. Now, we had challenges with compensation which again is one of the things that have been a big challenge to us in Delta. The amount of compensation we are forced to pay for our job uh, is uh, sometimes way above uh, the money you use to for itself. I know some of my other colleagues who just go and destroy the houses, they go to the courts and they start fighting back on the courts. But because I try to uh, stick to the rule of law where we deal with the result of this first. So that one pound I delays the And sometimes more of these structures are illegal. The biggest challenge we had on this road is the position. And like I said, the utilities, that is the electric road. But I think we've been able to sort out that those must have now. We had to redesign it such way that we have to bypass some properties um, that have cost us so much. I don't know to yeah, we have challenges from communities. There's no doubt about it. Like I said, they are media. Um, communities late in the job. Especially in the, the southern and central part of Delta. We have a lot of challenges from communities. And um, it's frustrating sometimes. And it delays a lot of work. But um, we are from this area. And uh, we've got the challenges. We'll do the best we can.